This is Mr. Bandona Patrick, Northern Tekken Cocorage, Heavy Equipment Section. This department is Automotive Department. And uh, I want to go through with you on one new type of uh, transmission that is on the road today. It is a manual transmission, but uh, automated. By automation, it means that uh, it doesn't have a foot crutch. You cannot find the crutch on this vehicle. Some of the vehicles that are using this is the new Volvo, the Euro 5, Euro 6, Euro 3, they are using this type of equipment. It is like an automatic vehicle where sh shifting of gears is without a physical crutch. So this is uh, the gearbox that uh, I just want to take you through just to explain how it is and the new technology that is uh, on the market. At Notec, we have started to teach this in our automotive diploma at level three. We are calling it automated transmission. Some companies like Volvo, they call it an I-shift transmission, meaning that it is a transmission that shifts its gears using intelligence or computer system. So we go through now the transmission, which is already available here. Uh, this is a, a gearbox, a standard gearbox, which is uh, electronically managed. The gearbox itself is a constant mesh gearbox used on a heavy vehicle. This particular brand is a brand of Volvo. Volvo trucks and buses. Now, this gearbox, when it is in a vehicle, it doesn't have a crutch mechanism that goes to the driver, meaning that it doesn't use a manual crutch. It is automated. It is a man, an automated manual transmission. By automation, we mean that uh, it is being managed by electronic system, the computer. This vehicle has got different computers that are managing the operation of the transmission. So here we have got the harness, the cables that are connected, the, the, connecting this transmission to the vehicle control units at various positions. At the, tail, at the propeller shaft end here, as the propeller shaft connects, we have got the sensor which is monitoring the speed of the vehicle or the speed of the vehicle which records in kilometers per hour. Inside this unit on top here, in a standard manual gearbox, here there will be a, a gearbox control or shift control reverse where the driver manually shifts gears from one gear to the other. After being replaced, it has been replaced with a transmission control unit, TCU or TCM, transmission control module. This transmission control module for this transmission has got solenoids. So there are solenoids inside this system. The solenoid for reverse, solenoid for forward, and solenoid for gear ratios, gear one, two, three, four, up to nine two reverse and nine forward, sometimes 12 forward. So those solenoids are there with the cylinders. And these cylinders that are here are operated by air. So instead of a driver, the shift fox, when you go into a manual gearbox, you have the shift fox. The shift lever pushes the shift fork. The shift fork, they shift the door crutches, which engage one gear to the other. Now in this design, the shift fox have been not being operated by a shift lever, but by shift cylinders. So you remove the shift lever, put a shift cylinder. So when a cylinder moves out, it pushes the shift fork to engage one gear to the other, hence we achieve the different gear ratios. So the solenoid has been replaced with the manual gear control. So the air is the ones that are opening the cylinder, pushing the cylinders when the, the solenoid has been 
energized. So we have got the solenoid operated air valves that are shifting uh, inside the gearbox. So this line brings air inside here. Now, this is an open center, meaning that air is able to, uh, air just goes inside uh, up to the, this end. And this other line comes into the crutch operating mechanism. So besides here, we have got a crutch unit. So this is a crutch unit here, which is also an actuator. So this actuator here, the crutch unit has got uh, the module, a small uh, computer, okay, which now sends a signal. So this is a crutch cylinder also. Instead of the crutch, operator, crutch lever, the manual crutch operating mechanism which pushes the, the, the release bearing in order to, to actuate crutch and to release crutch, we have got now the crutch cylinder here that is also pneumatically operated, which is able, the piston here is able to push the, the release bearing in and out. When it is pushed out, you disengage the crutch. When it is released like this, the crutch is engaged. This is a sensor here. This sensor is able to measure the, re, the, the movement of the, the piston, how much the piston is moving. If there is wear here, it will be able to detect the wear and give a code to the diagnostic code on the, on the uh, OBD, onboard diagnostic, who, who the signal will be sent. It is able to measure how much the cylinder is moving. If it starts to move too much, then it will know that it has finished. So it's able to rotate. So you don't need to open this crutch, this transmission to check whether the cylinder is on or not. Even when the crutch has started to wear out, the crutch itself starts to wear out, it reduces in diameter, meaning that the piston has to move a little bit more. So it has been calibrated to know that this movement means that the crutch has started to finish. So with this computer, it will tell you at this point the crutch has finished, you need to change. So this is the sensor that is giving us a that information.